I first came here to paint earlier this year, and I worked here for many months. In fact, I, I rented a house in the village of Salford over the summer so that I could really get to know the place, get to know the local community, and get to know how they felt about the hotel, what they'd like it to be, so that the project was about a sense of community. We thought, let's transform this place into a place of culture and education. Thousands of people came from all over Lebanon and, in fact, the whole world. They were flying in to see the exhibition. And every day I ran workshops for children from the local schools and also children from nearby orphanages and architectural students from Alba, which is the main Beaux-Arts University in Beirut. I chose to teach the children and work with them under the cedar tree which grows in the garden. This tree is the classic symbol of Lebanon, of the beauty of Lebanon, and also the strength and the resilience of the people. I thought it was appropriate to work under it so that the children could feel connected both to their history and also to nature. A place like this is just so inspiring and magical for their imaginations. It's so important to connect children to their heritage so that they feel a sense of belonging to their country and to the land that they live in. We have to think about the kind of Lebanon and world that we want tomorrow, if we really believe in that. We have to improve the lives of disadvantaged children. I feel strongly that these places can have a new life as centers of education and culture, and they fulfill some sort of public role. And I can't think of a better way to do that than by inviting children to come here to learn and to create and to fulfill their dreams.